you're here. <laughs> Did, you just showed up, didn't you? Just like that. You just showed up. Well, I think me and the boys are going to go on a little excursion. Remember, the holidays aren't over until the holidays are over. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do. I got to keep it a secret for at least another 30 seconds. <laughs> I think we're going to do a little holiday fishing. Did I give the secret away too fast? I did. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. What is that? How could that possibly be? What are they thinking? Road closed, fish denial. All right, I guess now we are going to find another way to Hag Lake. To fish interrupt us. I told you it was closed. He did. Who's going for the worm? I guess that would be Gus. We are in Gaston looking for worms. We're in. At 12.27, right when the fish start to bite. We are right here. There's, there's, there's no, there's, there's no, there's no water in Hag Lake. <laughs> The fish have got to be scraping bottom. It doesn't look like we're going to have to fight for a space. We're here on a desert fishing island. You're going to need a lot of fishing line if you're going to fish from there. Yeah, probably a thousand feet of fishing line. I forgot my fishing tackle. This is so much walking just to get to the oh my I don't give up easy. It's almost it's time to fish and it's almost time to leave. It literally has taken what time is I don't know. It's like <laughs> remember, it's the experience, it's not the outcome. That kid caught a fish. Fishing tip number one, don't forget the worms. I have plastic garlic. That ought to do it. I'm at water's edge. I'm ready. About time. This is the hardest part for me, and that's putting the worm on this hook. Can, can you see me? I don't, to put, I, I don't, this is, this, you know, actually, I think, oh, he's been in a refrigerator. It's nice you can't hear them scream. This is the correct way to put a, a worm on a hook several times. Look, he's hardly moving. Is that perfect? That's a perfect worm. All right, let's try it again. No. Why does it do that? Gus has a fish! Here, let me rinse him one more time. That is a pretty fish, Gus. That's the biggest, biggest fish you caught. Barry just told me we can name the fish. I want to name the fish. He said we should name it dinner. I'll, we can, we'll name it dinner. Okay. No, have I said this before? It's not about the fish. It's never been about the fish. Let's go, let's go try again. If it's gonna work, you gotta get a little dirty. That's rule number three. You've seen it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Was this something they did on purpose? Totally alien. Is this supposed to help the fish? <laughs> I've lost a pair of glasses. I found a pair of glasses. Score. I lost three worms. I still know where my fishing pole is. I haven't caught any fish. But, you know, I've had a good time. That's what counts. That's lesson number five, four, three. I don't know. That's lesson number. So let's say lesson number six. Have a good time. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's it. Have we learned anything here? 
<laughs> we've learned nothing. <laughs> no, we've learned a lot. I've caught zero fish, but that's okay because I already have lasagna for dinner, so it doesn't matter. Gus has caught one fish. Barry has caught no fish, but he didn't want to catch fish anyway. It was about the journey with him. So each of us got what we wanted. Gus got a fish, I got some fun, and Barry got Zen time. Shh, you'll wake the fish. I think they're sleeping. Yeah, enough chat. While they're out of here, come on. Don't drag your feet, you get the tackle box. Give life a chance. <laughs> I'm just, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm saying, give it a chance. It's not too bad once you get to know it. <laughs> I forgot my pole. Wait, I forgot my pole. That would have been bad. Probably it has a fish on it. <laughs> 